at the very end, and this is where we would cap with sulfur so it's ventilated, uh, so we can actually cap the cylinders. And then uh, we can cut the cylinders over here. We have a compression machine for testing concrete cylinders. Here's where we cure our concrete cylinders. We fill these with water. They're maintained at a proper temperature with the heaters. And then these are measuring the temperature. And then at the bottom, they have a pump which circulates the water. Um, we split samples here. We can do coarse gradations with this piece of equipment. It's coarse soup sinker. We have a large capacity oven, and it's one of the better ovens so that uh, we can also do soil samples. This right here is a, uh, it's called a Marianne, but it's kind of a, a specialized type of shaker. So it'll do both the eight inch diameter sieves and the 12 inch diameter sieves. That allows them to do soil testing as well as aggregate testing. This is their proctor bench. They'll pound proctors on these. These are ergonomically designed so that they don't have to pound them on the floor. Also, they're supposed to pound on something solid. We build these ourselves, and uh, that also clamps down the mold, so that's something you won't see most other, or other um, testing companies do. These are where we burn off the soil samples for moisture contents. Um, this is just, you know, the workbench and on this bench, but they're all stored away. Um, are usually balances for measuring samples. This is rather unique to us. This is where we can sieve samples and prepare them. And so we do it, it goes into a funnel and into a, a bucket. Um, obviously just storage, but you can see some of the equipment that's supplied. I mean, we, we give them, you know, um, a vacuum to keep the place clean. We have, you know, an air compressor so that they can strip cylinders. Obviously we have heating and air. So it's good for, you know, 115 in Texas and 30 below in North Dakota.